In this first activity, students will explore a simple light circuit. They will then design and build a sensor to determine whether or not a door or cabinet is open or closed. Finally, they will use the sensor they designed to trigger a simple alarm system. Before you give out the youth handouts, give your students one AA battery, a light bulb, and a 2-inch jumper wire. Tell them to configure and connect the components in such a way as to make the light bulb shine. After about 5 minutes, if they haven't figured it out, show them the correct circuit setup. Place one end of the wire on the negative terminal of the battery and the other end of the wire on the light bulb just below the glass casing. You may need tape to hold the components together. Then, rest the light bulb on the positive terminal of the battery as demonstrated. The AA battery is a source of electric energy. The positive end is marked with a plus sign and has a small round metal tip. The negative end has a flat metal surface. Look at your AA battery closely. Can you tell which end is negative and which end is positive? If the students have time, have them incorporate a second battery into their circuit. The students must connect the positive terminal of one battery to the negative terminal of the second battery. What this will do is make the light twice as bright. This may be easier if the students have partners to help them construct the circuit. If they don't, they may need to use tape. In this next part of the activity, we're going to activate the light by using a switch. First, attach a lamp holder to the light bulb. Then, connect two 2 inch jumper wires to the lamp holder as shown. The lower extension of the lamp holder should be connected to a wire that connects to one end of the battery. And the higher extension of the lamp holder should be connected to a wire that has a piece of foil wrapped around its free end. Finally, Attach a 2 inch jumper wire to the free end of the battery and wrap a piece of foil around the other end of that wire. Next, we bring the two pieces of foil together, thus closing the circuit. The result is that light is emitted from the light bulb. Your challenge now is to design a door trigger switch using the circuit you just built. Remember, Engineers use math and science as tools to design devices to solve problems. This switch will just turn the light on for now. In later activities, it will trigger the alarm to tell you that somebody has opened the door. Now, we'll show a few example circuits that your students might come up with. The circuit that you see in front of you has one part of the switch anchored to the door and the other part anchored to the wall. As you open the door, the two pieces of foil come in contact and close the circuit. In this particular example, we elongated the wires to facilitate placement of the circuit. Here's another example of a door switch circuit. One part of the switch is anchored to the door and the other part is anchored to the floor. When you open the door, the two pieces of foil come in contact, thus closing the circuit and activating the light. Again, we use long wires to facilitate placement of the switch. Here, we've anchored the circuit to a box. When the box lid is opened, the two pieces of foil come in contact with one another and the light is activated. In every example shown, one part of the switch is anchored to a stationary wall or floor, and the other part is anchored to the lid or the door being opened. Therefore, 
It's important to keep in mind ways of using the movement of the door and the box lid to close the circuit. 